Hi, my name is Mass, and here's a video about virtual and physical voices. With a physical voice, you have four steps of processing. One, decoding the audio file. Two, resampling the sound. Three, applying effects and filters. And four, performing volume computation. Now, virtual voice is a way of producing the computation used on a voice. So to demonstrate this, I've set up a torch with a trigger outside. And the torch is our voice, and the trigger is our attenuation. So when the listener is inside the sphere, the listener is able to hear the sound and all these steps will be processed. But when you exit the trigger and are not able to hear the sound anymore, the first three steps is performed unnecessarily. So when a voice is allowed to go to virtual voice, the voice will only perform volume computation. The reason that it needs to perform volume computation is to know when the sound is yet again audible to the listener. So when you re-enter the attenuation range, the first three steps will yet again be processed. When allowing a sound to go to virtual voice, you need to select the audio object. Notice that I've selected the ambient fire torch and go into advanced settings. Here you'll find all sorts of virtual voice settings. And first off, to allow a voice to go to virtual voice, you need to configure the virtual voice group box. So select override parent. And here you can control whether the voice is allowed to go to virtual or not. The first condition, continue to play, means that it will always play, no matter if it's not audible. The second one, kill voice. Whenever it goes below the volume threshold, or is not included in the max voice instance limit, it will be killed off. But the next two options are virtual voice. The first one is sent to virtual voice, so always sent to virtual voice. And the last one is kill a finite else virtual, meaning that if the voice is not looping, it will kill it, like the second option or if it's looping, it will use the send to virtual voice. The entire collection of voices active is controlled by your project settings. Start by going to the project and project settings. To manage all your voices in your game, you can use a combination of the volume threshold and the max voice instance limit. For the Wise Adventure game, we've set the volume threshold to minus 60, meaning that whenever a sound is below minus 60, that voice's virtual voice settings will be triggered. So if the virtual voice settings are set to sent to virtual voice and the sound is below minus 60 dB, it will be sent to virtual voice. The max voice instance limit is the maximum amount of physical voices allowed to play at the same time. When you have a lot of sounds playing concurrently, Wise will count up all your sounds and sort them depending on their priority. And for example, for the Mac platform, the 50 most important sounds will be allowed to play, whereas the rest will have their virtual voice setting triggered. A small important side note is that whenever the sound is set to continue to play, this sound will not be included in the max voice instant limit, and it will simply just be allowed to play. So in the Wise Adventure game, I have started the game on the left side, and I'm using Wise to profile the game in the right side. Now notice that the advanced profiler has a lot of voices. Each of these voices are a separate instance of a voice. Depending on your volume threshold and your max voice instance limit, these voices will be sorted and the most important voices will be allowed to play. In the voice tab, if you drag the slider to the right side, notice there is a column called virtual. This column describes whether the sound is physical or virtual. And if you select something like the ambient campfire, you notice that this is set to virtual. And that's because the priority of it is super low, but it's also out of range. So let's navigate to the checkpoint. Now notice that the campfire play sound is now not set to virtual. And that's because we are within its attenuation range and we are able to hear it. And as such, it will go from virtual to physical. And when we move away from the source, the campfire is yet again set to virtual. If you are following the certification or want to learn more about Wise Adventure Game, you can click on the signpost.